Yo, what is up guys? JD Zero bringing you some unboxing videos today, 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 today. Some unboxing Amazon videos. So, we got our first package here. Batman Knife Fist thing. Into Oblivion. You know, earlier today, I don't know if you guys catched the live stream, breaking the fourth wall. Because I know this is probably going to be going up on the same time that the live stream has officially go up. Uh, but yeah, I got copyrighted earlier. And I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting the copyright. Because everything else was pretty much played on here. I wasn't expecting the copyright. So, it happened. Copyright. Oh well, let me do copyright. So, first package is one of the black and white Avengers manga. Uh, this is uh, volume 7. It came in a box. I mean, it came by itself. But I have the other uh, volumes here too. I guess they, because they, they didn't have like an actual box set for it. So everything came in singles. So I'm gonna try to open up this box here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then. So oh, it went way off. <laughs> Go. All right, all right. Okay, so here's the other books here. So we have volume six. We have volume two. We also have volume five. We also have volume four. Look at that. Look at Ann. Ann looks so creepy. Like, what the heck is going on with Ann? He looks so creepy. Then we have volume eight. So this is what the volume eight looks like. Put this in order. So this is like the one, I guess the box, if, if there was a box set, it would be one through eight for this volume. Then we have volume one. Volume one, look at this. Volume one, look how light and small this is for volume one. Look at that. There's only a few pages in here. What is this, like how many pages is this? Like, it literally has about 93. 93 pages and then if you kind of like extra pages that has nothing to do with the actual book itself It's at least a good 96 pages, 97, 98, about a good 100 pages This book is considered 100 pages For everything else consider like at least 250 something pages But this, this is the most flimsy book you got here, right? Why is this volume one of black and white this thin? I, I don't understand. Why is it so thin? It makes no fucking sense. Why is it so thin? Why is it so thin? Everything else is thick. That's thin. Then we have a uh, volume three. So here's the volume three manga. But yeah, that's thin. We weren't able to get like a, a poster like the rest of them. Usually would get. But hey, volume one through volume eight. So that's pretty much it for the black and white series. I did see the black and white two series manga. I was gonna get that series manga, but it only comprised of two volumes of it. 
I don't know what they're trying to do with the two volumes. I'm trying to see if they're actually going to add more volumes to it before actually buying it. I also seen other ones that also did the same thing where there's certain amount ones, but oh well. Why are you blurring up? Okay. But anyway, we're going to get to our last box of today because in this particular special box here, we have something very interesting for you guys. Let's bring it down here. Okay. So we got something very interesting for you guys in this particular box here. So this is completing the manga series box because I, like I said, there's other manga series that I have officially seen that I kind of want to grab. But as to what's going to be happening in that particular series, because those, those manga series are not complete, I'm not going to be able to buy them. Because I'd rather buy a complete series manga than having half of them. But other than that, I don't know where to put it on my bookshelf as to that, because once my bookshelf is fully completed with all the manga that I'm going to be getting, uh, the bookshelf is going to be full, and I'm going to pretty much show you guys what the bookshelf looks like. I kind of want to get rid of most of the stuff that's on here, but I like what I have here as to so far on the bookshelf. Once I present to you guys what the bookshelf looks like, it's going to be amazing. But anyway, let's get into this particular thing because not only that knowing the fact that this has to do with stuff that's going to be put onto the channel, it's also just uh, one, there's going to be like one little thing that I'm going to have on here that you're not going to realize until when you see it, it's going to be put up on here. Uh, because I think I'm going to be doing it for the live stream. Yeah, this is going to be something that's going to be happening during the live stream. It's going to be like the last item that you're going to see up on here though. That I'm going like, to show you. I'm going to show you the last remaining Pokemon manga stuff. And then I'll present you guys with what I'm talking about. Okay. So, here we go. Oh, my mic just dropped. Okay. Mikey drop. Mikey, I'll call it Mikey drop. <laughs> but anyway. There we go. Ah. So, here we go. So, here's the manga that we got. We have the Pokemon X and Y manga. And the Pokemon X and Y manga, as you can tell, it is very thin. It's kind of like the black and white uh, volume 1 thin. Look how thin that is. So this is one of the thinner manga series, I guess. I guess they just didn't want to put a lot into the pages. They said it does come with a poster. Now, hopefully it does come with the poster. If it does not come with the poster, then I don't know what we could do with that. Because I don't like when things don't come with posters. If we have like at least what, like one, one, two, about three of them that didn't come with a poster. But yeah, you know, hopefully this one does. Okay, let's slide the books out. Okay, this one does have a poster. Look. So before we show you the poster, we're gonna show you what the books look like. So here's the first X and Y manga series. Volume one, very thin. This is like one of the things that you can speed read these through. It's gonna be like the most fastest one to speed through. Put that back into the box. Then you have volume two. So that's what volume two looks like. The little mega stone in the back of the book. That's pretty cool. Then we got this volume three with the whole mega Kangaskhan. That's nice. And 
then you got that. Then we have the number four volume for the Lazander, Lazander. I don't even really know how to pronounce the dude's name. And then we have volume five. That looks pretty cool. And then look at the back. Because they do have like different things in the back here. So, very interesting. So then we got five. Number six. Then coming at volume seven, we have this. That's pretty cool. And in the back of this one that I think is pretty cool, you got this. Okay, then we got the Biome 8 series. And then it has like another uh, Mega Stone thing going on for it. So some of these have Mega Stones in the back, that's why I'm not really showing you that as too much. Because it's just Mega Stones. Then we have this one, Biome 9. But in the back of this has to do with blue. So somewhere in the X and Y series, blue comes along. And this is another thing about the blue Pokemon Adventures. Because this since this is the special edition, I'm guessing the people who did this one, it has to do with the uh, original the four uh, collection book that I have right now. So I'm guessing this is just continuing from that point of the series. So I don't know which part that's actually connected with this because I have to check and see if black and white has it or the diamond and pearl is one of those things. And you have this one. It blue appears up again in this as well. <laughs> then you have volume 11. And then I think we got some little things that are going on with the trainers here as well. And last but not least, we got volume 12. Volume 12 is this. Again, it's picturing the same thing that was up here. Put in the front cut. Not bad. Not bad at all. Slide this piece back in here. There we go. And now for the poster reveal of it. Ta -da! So that's another poster. Another poster that's gonna be going up point here on the bookshelf. Uh, again, I don't know. I do. I actually do know where I'm gonna put it. So once I do the whole book reveal, reveal, it's gonna be put it up, put up there. Okay, let's see. This is the. Okay. So we have two box sets of the black and white series that didn't have an actual box set. So apparently since the volume one to eight didn't have a box set, but volume uh, nine to 14 actually has a box set. So I was, that's where I'm like, okay, why does this have a box set? But Volume 1 through 8 doesn't have a box set. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, guys. It's kind of weird. So we're going to go ahead open this up as well. Yeah. Okay, so does this come with a poster? It should come with a poster. It should have a poster here. Yep, I feel the poster. I feel the poster right here in the back. There. Oh my gosh. And these are also thin. What the heck? These are also thin. These are thin books. What the heck? So, here's volume 9 of the Black and White series. That's pretty interesting. So these are thin books. That's that's interesting. They didn't make them thicker than the so volume one had a thinner 
uh, less paper, I guess. But these, these have less paper than that. So, volume 8 was more thicker, and then it got to the point where it's less paper on this, on these, on the box set. That's interesting. I wonder why they do that. It's probably, they have some reason of doing it, but that's interesting. I kind of want to know what their decision on that one. I guess they had something to do with trying to make it all short and they needed to get the foot done, I'm assuming. So they tried to put less in each foot to make it not have that much detail of what needs to be. Oh my god, I just didn't realize that. Look at that in the back of this. That's pretty cool. Interesting. That is very interesting. So we're gonna have like a probably about a good multiple poster then. If that's the case for the next book that we show, the next uh volume that we got. Oh my gosh. So this is volume 13. Right? With the metal weather and then look metal weather in the back. Bruh, that's that's pretty cool. And last but not least we just need to put this back into the book casing here. Slide it right in there. There we go. So here we go with this one. Volume 14. And then it has Pat Rat. Pat Rat is real cute. That's pretty cool. Again, yeah, it's pretty interesting how they have it like less paper or less pages, I would say, in these books. It's interesting. So now we have the uh, poster here as well. There's the poster right there for the last uh, volume of volume 14. So you're gonna use that as your last poster. Again, like I said, I have a certain way I'm gonna put the posters up there. Granted, that's a lot of posters that are gonna be fitted on to this book show, but hey, it is what it is. But yes, we have the third box set. See, that's what I'm saying. Even though they said third box set, they didn't have a box set for buying one eight. I don't know why. I had to buy them all one by one. But at least I bought it as a group on Amazon, so I was able to get one. It just one of those books didn't come with uh, the seven other books. It came in a separate package. I don't know why that happened, but it happened. And go ahead and put it up. Rip it it. Test that to the side. Rip, 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 off. Okay, so now, we're getting to the point of, oh, did this one didn't have it? Oh, nope, it's right here, poster, okay. So here's some more thin books, thinner books. So here's volume 15, with the three, uh, Swords of Justice, or whatever you call them. And then here's Trakion right there. All of his beast mode. Team Biome 16. Looks like Galventia. Embor. That Pokemon that I forgot the name. Hmm. And then you, I guess you got the Spider Snivy in the back. That's pretty cool. Then uh, we got Biome 16. 17 with Looker looking so funny with his funny looking self. Then we get uh, Keldeo in the side. That's pretty cool. Then we get this with Iris. Nice. And her Haxorus. Then we get Volume 19. And then 10 stages up in the back. 
Look at the punch start. Pop, pop. There we get volume 20 being the last volume of the Black and White series. And versus the main character. And then you have the girl Kevin. So that's all the violence to the black and white series. So I have the complete black and white series manga and then the X and Y complete manga series. I still am reading, uh, what was it? Gold and Silver. I haven't really got to the point of finish reading it. I need to finish reading it so I can give you guys my experience on or my detailed information about how that book went or how that book series went for volume 17 uh but yeah got that and here's our poster look at that poster like, mm, i'm mad bro but yeah so we got let's see how many posters do we have Total. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven posters, man. Seven posters. <laughs> seven posters. Even though we don't have like the seven generation manga here. Again, I also saw that. I also saw the seven generation manga, and I was like, oh, that's cool. But. You can't use it because you can't buy it because it's not a complete manga series. Again, one of those things. So now, here is the last item on the package. It is all wrapped up. Look at that. I'm blurred. There we go. So, here's the last package that's all bubble wrap. Bubble freaking wrap. And it is bubble wrap so tight. We're gonna go ahead and open this. Ooh. Yeah. Rip it open. Rip. Rip. Ah. Rip. Ah. There we go. that heat. Come on, rip it open. Ah. Ah. Okay, now we got it into this, this, this here. Oh, we get to slide it right out. So, introducing Ta da So what we have here is some hot sauce. Not no ordinary hot sauce. This is the Hen Jang hot sauce. This is the hot ones hot sauce. By uh What was the name of the show? It's a it's a YouTube channel that goes by at first we feast I don't know if you guys watches that it's a channel that basically does a lot of things with food and whatnot and especially dealing with hot sauce in general they're more popular with that with their hot sauce uh, they put on guests or whatever and they test them to do different versions you know different hot sauce and see how they can cope with doing an interview dealing with hot sauce but it's also they eat wings, so the hot sauce is on the wing and they pretty much eat the wing with that. So, as to this, this is a uh, what is it, Kai smoke ghost pepper. This is a ghost pepper hot sauce. It opens your prayers and you can fill it and repeat. Uh, on the uh, scale of being hot, it was it. Shake it well. Okay, we gotta shake this thing because it's, you know, we don't wanna pour and it's not shake. Uh, it 
if you, I guess if you don't put a lot on here, it's not that hot, basically. So it gives you that mild blend if you don't put a lot here. But I'm guessing it's still hot regardless because... Yeah, it's still hot because it's ghost pepper and I already checked it and see if it was hot. So it, it is hot. It has apple center, apple what? It's apple cylinder vegan, vegan deer, vegan deer. Uh, it has chili pepper, sea salt, and garlic. So it's gonna be hot. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be hot. But yeah, uh, this is like a Hawaiian type of hot sauce. Uh, since it's pretty much, it has it like right there in the title. Hawaiian hot sauce. It's one of those things that they could just focus in. So it's right there. It's an apple Hawaiian hot sauce. So uh, I can't wait to test this out and try it. The thing is, I'm not gonna open it up until we start doing streams, and I won't actually open this up until we start getting about a couple of subscribers. Uh, right now I'm thinking that we're around like 368 I believe. So if we could get up to maybe uh, I'm hoping since we're at 300 I'm hoping to get to 400. If we can get to 400 subs I'm, I'm taking a dab of this. I'm gonna get a dab of it and I'm gonna put it in my mouth. I'm gonna straight up hit nothing but a dab. Dab it right on the thumb. I'll get it right there. I'll get it where it's all right here on the thumb. And I'll put it in my mouth and I'll, I'll, I won't even drink. I won't even, I won't even get the water. I'll, I'll just keep it in my mouth and I'll just die. I'll just freaking die of this hot sauce. That's that's what I'm about to do. So, if you guys want to see me suffer on live stream with this hot sauce, because I know damn well it's gonna be freaking hot, definitely check out for that. Uh, I'm gonna be streaming some Pokemon Wi-Fi battles. So definitely, definitely check out for this. It's gonna be a thing. Uh, but yeah, I only will I only will be able to open that up unless we get up to 400. And like I said, we're at, kind of at around 368 subs right now. So gotta boost me up, man. Gotta boost me up to a couple of subscribers so you can see this in action live. So that's it for the unboxing uh, for today. But again. Like I said, uh, overall, that is the thing. Uh, if you want to get hot sauce like that, you can go here. Show your clothes, or you can go to Amazon and find hot sauce like that as well. They, um, also, check out Hot Ones or Fresh Wheat Peas. If you check out Fresh Wheat Peas, uh, they also have other hot sauce there as well that you can buy hot sauce from there. And, I think the prices are somewhere between $20 and low, I think it was. Uh, and other than that, check out First Few Feast, check out the Hot Points uh, Hot Sauce Challenge thing with interviews. Because, like I said, we have famous people on there that they get to pull out and do all the hot sauce thing interviews with them. Definitely check them out. I think they're like, they're a big fan. They're like a million subscribers. So definitely check them out. I love the show. I love the channel. Get to uh, watch their channel. So. But since I'm rambling on, I'm gonna pick these books up and whatnot and uh, put them in the areas that I'm gonna have them at. See you guys. Bye. Ah, blur, blur. Ah, see ya. Bye.